Hello everyone, this is Erica Rohn, and today I'm going to be reading for you, Curious George Goes to the Aquarium. This book, Curious George Goes to the Aquarium, is by Margaret Ray and Alan Schleck. Let's go to the aquarium today, George, said the man. Hopefully we can get our pictures in. The manager of the aquarium met them at the door. I'm going to feed the seals now, he said. Would you like to come and watch? He took a pail full of fish, went to the seal tank, held up one. Billy, the big seal, jumped straight into the air and caught. George was fascinated. Next, Billy did a twist in the air. George liked seals, but only a few people were watching. The next show will be on at 2 p.m., the announced the manager. George went behind the fish tanks. There was a net on a long pole leaning against the tank. George was curious. Could he feel the, feed the seals too? Hmm, I wonder what he's going to do. I'm not sure it's safe to feed the seals. So he took the net and went into the tank and dipped it into the water. He caught lots of fish. So there's this fish, and there's he got him right out of the fish tank. Kind of looks like a fish tank at somebody's house. Just then, a guard came by and saw the net in the tank. What's going on here, he shouted. He blew his whistle. Guards came running from all sides. There he is, cried someone. Somebody catch that monkey. Stop him, shouted another, and they all ran after George. George was scared. He ran away. He headed for the seal tank. Meanwhile, the next show had started. Uh-oh. What do we think is going to happen? George jumped right into the tank and landed on the back of a seal. Look, a monkey, someone shouted. One seal flipped George high into the air, and another seal caught him. All the seals poked their heads out of the water. They all wanted to play with George. They tossed George into the air and took turns catching him. George was having lots of fun. The audience went wild. It was the best show they had ever seen. Finally, George landed on the platform, and suddenly a guard reached out and grabbed him right on the ear. Uh-oh, doesn't look like it's going to end well for George. The manager rushed over. Wait, he said. Let George go. He was the star of our show. Can we hire George, the manager asked. We'll see, said the man in the yellow hat. But I think I better take him home for now.
they all cheered for George once more. The end. Thank you so much for joining me for this bedtime story with Kip. I hope you enjoyed our George story.